Hi there folks, it's Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. Today I've got a really interesting ingredient I'm going to be using, and it's called Vegemite. That's right, it's from down under, down in Australia. Now Vegemite is a classic Aussie icon, and we're going to be using it today to make some Vegemite and glazed steaks. That's right, right here on my grill. So, without further ado, let's get on with the cooking. Well, like I said, we're making Australian glazed steak. We're using Vegemite. I've never used this before. I'll give it a smell though real quick, and I did earlier. Kind of reminds me of a beef broth almost. Oh well. And we're gonna use some Uncle Steve's shake, and we also have a surprise for this. So let's start. Super simple. First part is just butter, some thyme, and Vegemite. Let's mix this up. I have some butter here that's somewhat soft, so I'm just going to finish this off. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of Vegemite. I'm going to eye it, so I don't happen to have a tablespoon thing on me. That looks like, that looks about right. Throw it in there. I'm going to mix it all up. Man, it's cold out here. Woo. Nice thing about doing it Australian style is I got the Barbie going. That all mixed up. Looks good. Now we're going to add some thyme to this. Well, it calls for a tablespoon. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, there we go. We'll just throw it in like that. What the hell? Boy, it smells good though. Something and that's about the consistency that we want right there. For our steaks, I just have two T-bones. And I'm just gonna they're at room temperature, so I'm just gonna throw on some Uncle Steve's thick meat. Yes, Chris, I did say that. flip. I already patted them down to get as much of the water off as possible. Now these are going to sit for a little bit while our Barbie comes up to temp. For this cook on the Barbie, we're using Royal Oak Lump Charcoal. It's looking good. And there. On that side. Actually, I think I'm going to move these together. Put that over the old Barbie and the lid. We're gonna get this up to about three, 400 degrees and then we're gonna start on our steak. We're back, it's been about five minutes. We do have our special ingredient now. You're like, dude, that wasn't there before. Nope, because we're also doing shrimp. You should throw them down in there. And I'm just doing this to kind of get them started. All right, I put it off to the side. I'm actually gonna throw our steaks off to the side a little bit as well. I don't want them sticking yet. But it's just time to let things cook down for a few minutes. We're about three minutes into this. Look, our shrimp is already starting to change color. Great. Check our steaks out. Excellent. Come along very nicely. All right, let's give it another three minutes. And then I think it's time to put the steak on the direct heat. We're at the four minute mark. Now, depending upon how well done you like your steak, depends upon how long they'll sit on here. I like mine to be medium rare. I'm gonna take those off. But I'm also gonna put that down like that. I'm gonna move these over here and just take the shrimp, put them on to the bobby. Like that. Let them finish off. It's not going to take these guys very long at all to finish. We're into this about two and a half minutes, and I do want to look at the shrimp. Because you know they're going to cook super fast. Wow. Holy moly. Look good. I'd definitely go for some shrimp on the Barbie. 
Ooh, look at that one. Take a look at our steaks. So close. I think we got another two minutes. It's done. See you then. Our two and a half minutes are up. So we're just gonna take the bo the the shrimp off the bobby. Sorry, I know I got the worst Australian accent. Yum. And I'm gonna let's look at the steak. It's ready. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. All right, let's let's uh, let's finish this up so we can eat it. Seriously, I'm just going to leave the barbecue open because, man, it is so cold. I just want to take a look at this steak real quick. Kind of cut into it. Let's take a look at it. Well, that's uh, looking done to me. I just, I just want to try it real quick. Hmm. That's got good flavor. All right. We're here. Let's get our shrimpies on here. Perfect. Now here's our Vegemite part. Put some Vegemite over this. Now it is stinking cold out here. Actually, a Vegemite and butter. And over it like that. Perfect. We're going to take some aluminum foil now. let it rest for about five minutes. I'm going to huddle up next to the barbecuer, let this rest, and then we'll open it up and take a look. While we wait for the butter and Vegemite to finish melting on the steak, I thought I'd show you. <laughs> True story, guys. Yeah. One of the great things about having a Weber kettle when you're done with it, keep your hands warm. I think it's about time for a beer, and uh, we're getting close to that five minute mark. It's time. Oh, wow. Telling you what, this looks good. Wind's kind of picked up. It's gotten cold, but I think it's time to try it. Get ourselves a piece. Yeah. So, so wow. I have to admit, I think I might be a fan of Vegemite. It's got some serious flavor in it, guys. Really. It's really hard to describe. You get the flavor, but it's not overpowering. Try a shrimp. Yeah, that is really good. Wow. Actually, one of the best steaks I've ever had. Got to have a beer with it, too. All right, one more try, guys. The recipe is down below, of course, so... You can always check it out. That's honestly really good. And you add that shrimp to it, dang. All right guys, like I said, the recipe's down below. I want to thank my cousin Patrick for doing the opening to this. He did a great job. Make sure to check out his channel, Patty Joe Cooking. I'll put a link down below for it and maybe up here. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell for notifications, share, we dig your share. Remember the dude abides this time with steak, butter, Vegemite, I don't know what you call it, but it's, it's a surf and turf. We'll talk to you later, guys. Hmm. Hi everyone, it's Mike Wolford here, the dude from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. Well, today I'm using a very special ingredient it's an iconic Asia uh, icon, and it's called Vegemite. Now, they say Vegemite can be used on anything. Uh, spread it on bread, anything you like. But today, I'm going to be using it to make some delicious Vegemite and glazed steaks. That's right, right here at the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. So without further ado, let's get on with the cooking. <laughs> 